If the early bird gets the worm, it's the second mouse that gets the cheese. And my learners, if you haven't looked at Windows 365 yet, it's time to get the cheese. I'm Dean Safola, and this is the Azure Academy. When Windows 365 became available, so many of you were interested because the service offers a fully managed cloud PC. But the service had two very different approaches for you to pick from. The business version, which was scoped for those smaller deployments, which kind of managed everything for you. You didn't need your own Azure subscription, and it required you to use Azure AD Join. Then there was the enterprise version. It had a lot of direct integration into your own environment, but you needed an Azure subscription and a virtual network, which of course meant more management. And all your systems had to be hybrid joined. And that meant you still had to manage Active Directory, Azure AD Connect, and sync all your users, and configure DNS, and probably have a VPN, and well, my learners, thanks to your feedback, you get the best of both worlds. A cloud PC in a low management environment, which means no requirements for Azure subscriptions, virtual networks, and you get Azure AD join for the enterprise as well. And yes, you can still have and manage your own subscription if you want to. And I'm gonna cover how to do both of those things in just a minute. All of this has been made possible by your comments and feedback. So please subscribe, become an Azure Academy learner today, and comment below with your ideas on how we can keep improving this service so we can all build a better cloud. Now let's get it set up. Here in the Endpoint Manager console, we can click the Explore button on the right, and then you can see the Windows 365 overview. Now once you've purchased and assigned your licenses, you'll be able to get things all set up. Now there are three network options you can pick from today, and you can see that when you go here to the On-Premise Network Connections tab. And when you click to create a new policy, you'll have two options, the Hybrid and the Azure AD Join. We'll get to that third option in just a minute. Now whichever option you pick here, you basically have the same experience. Select your subscription, resource group, network, and subnet. Click Next and then finish by creating your network connection. This is gonna go through a series of tests to make sure that your network is configured properly for Windows 365. Now there are some differences in how these will do their checks based on your hybrid or Azure AD join configuration. And those are mostly centered around AD and DNS, which involves connectivity to your domain controller, which of course we don't need in Azure AD join. So there'll be even fewer checks on that side as you can see here. Now that we have our network created, let's go back to the top and go to a provisioning policy. And this is where all the magic happens. Click to create a new policy, give that policy a name and a description. And now we have the newest option, the join type. Now, if you select hybrid, this will be the way that things have always been. You still need an Azure subscription and virtual network to build all your VMs on. But if you choose Azure AD join, which is in preview, you have two other options. First, you can select an Azure network, which is the one we just created in our network connection a second ago. And that of course requires that you have a subscription, resource group, networks, etc., that you have to manage. The other option is for a Microsoft hosted network. This will deploy your cloud PCs on a Microsoft managed subscription. And this way you'll have even less to manage, but can still get all the benefits of going all cloud. Now, when you select the Microsoft hosted network, the next thing you need is a region. So here's a pro tip. You want your users to have the best experience possible, and that's going to start by having the lowest latency possible. So pick the region that's closest to your users. And if you have users in multiple locations, you can do those as separate provisioning policies, and that way it gives you more flexibility and you can also respect any data sovereignty needs that you have. When you're ready, click Next. And here you select your image as you always have, and that can be either a gallery or a custom image. When you're ready with that, click Next. And now we have the second most requested feature in Windows 365, a localized first run experience. You get a list here of 38 languages to choose from, which will configure your cloud PC with that language so your users have everything set up without IT having to install and manage language packs. It's all just part of the service. On the next screen, you can select the group of users that you want to use these cloud PCs. And here's another pro tip, the users group that gets assigned to them is not gonna issue a cloud PC to everyone, only those who have a license assigned. So just keep that one in mind. 
And the builds will all be completed soon. Once it's done, you can go to windows365.microsoft.com, log in with one of your users or use the thick client for either Windows, Mac, iOS, or Android. You can log in and get right to work. All of this has been possible because of your feedback, so comment below and keep that feedback coming. If this video was a help to you at all, give us a thumbs up, subscribe so you get more videos like this one, and share the Azure Academy with your friends, enemies, dogs, cats, everyone you think needs to learn more. And I'll see you in the next episode. Happy learning.